The next one I want to talk about is clairvoyance, clairsight. Clairvoyance means clairsight, French word. So you as an intuitive are going to receive information, number one, clairsentently, so most of us are sensing. So you'll sense it, you'll re see the program and you'll sense it. And you also might receive impressions. You might receive impressions in your third eye, clairvoyance. So every intuitive works differently. There'll be some people that are much more clairvoyant than clairsentient. So clairvoyance is having images, impressions of, of scenes that are from the past, scenes that are going right now, the energy right now, or the energy in the future. As you're reading a client, you can do this on your own, figure out your own way of doing this. But for me, when I'm working with my clairvoyance, I become very, very aware to create above my mind's eye a screen, a big white screen. And I will be aware of as I sit with a client and I connect with their energy and I just ask myself, just don't be afraid to see what I see. Don't be afraid to see what you see. Now, this is very interesting. So the client is sitting in front of me. If I see from my left over here is their past present right here, future here. There is no time per se, but I know as an intuitive, if I want to tune into the past, present, future, I have my own reference point. And what I do is on this movie screen in my mind's eye, I can then get impressions and I have to ask, what do I have to see about their past that will help me with this present moment, that will affect it, this present moment? Or perhaps they're asking me a certain question. I can as intuitive go, what from the past do I have to see on my screen to help them with this moment. So I will then receive an impression, a picture, an image. Same thing with the present moment as well. You can just really, really bring your attention, bring your energy up to the third eye center right here, their clairvoyance, and be aware of that beautiful screen. And what do I need to see about that present moment about them? What impressions do I see? And then you can also go into the future timing and just bring yourself with your clairvoyant vision into the future, because that is a time yet to come. This is interesting to note as well. Everybody, before they come back on this earth, you have a soul program. You sign up for various lessons to learn. And I do believe there are various soul points, destiny points that the soul must go through. So as far as the future happens, there are certain destiny points that that soul must go through. But the soul also has free will. They can choose to learn it then, or another point. But as you're sitting with that person at that moment in space and time, what you're seeing in the future, clairvoyantly, you're seeing at that moment. That might change in two days. That might change in a year, depending on their free will. So what you're seeing is for that moment right now. And you might see it very quick and fast pictures, impressions. If it comes too quickly, you must be in control and say, slow it down, slow it down. And you must question those images you receive. Okay, I'm seeing a brown horse running. Why am I seeing the brown horse running? Where is it going to? Where is it coming from? Okay, every picture you see, every impression you get, you have to know why. So it's almost like you're the reporter. You're asking, where is that picture coming from? Where is it going to? Why am I seeing it? What is the association that that image has with my client right now? Okay, um, it might be also symbolic, which we'll talk about another time with symbols. You yourself are in control of how you're going to receive your programs and your transmissions. Yes, and you have to be able and in control of how it's translated to you.